the quadratic equation given has two distinct real roots. Question A. Find the possible value of A. If quadratic equation has two distinct real roots, it means what? That discriminant is greater, strictly greater than zero. And in general, quadratic looks like this a ax squared plus bx plus c is zero and uh, discriminant is b squared minus 4ac so discriminant becomes b squared it's k squared minus 4 a is 1 and c is this just a number it's 15 minus k and it must be strictly greater than zero and quadratic inequality arises here and let expand and simplify so it becomes uh, k squared plus uh, for k minus 60 is greater than zero then we need the roots so we should consider uh, k squared plus 4k minus 60 is zero I will use uh, discriminant you may try to factorize or use a sum, a sum and product rule discriminant is b squared 16 minus 4ac it's 256 uh, so k uh, negative b plus minus root of d so negative 4 plus minus and root of 256 it's 16 over 2a and uh, with minus it's negative 10 or with plus it's 12 over 2 it's 6 let's check using sum and product rule sum is uh, negative b of a and product it's c of a and it's what negative 4 over 1 and product is negative 60 let's check product is negative 60 correct and sum is negative 4 also correct and we can illustrate this using parabola because the graph of quadratic uh, uh, function is parabola so this parabola looks like this and uh, since uh, uh, coefficient in front of k squared is 1 we can see that this function and it's concave up parabola and the uh, roots uh, are uh, x in general here uh, k uh, intercepts so it's negative 10 and 6 so it looks like this and we need values of this function to be greater than 0 y values to be greater where is it it's this part of a parabola and this part of a parabola but answer must be in terms of k so k and uh, notice that strictly we need strictly so k is less than negative 10 or not and it's or k is greater than 6 The next question B find the possible values of k in the case where the two distinct real roots are both positive or both negative. And so we can see this equation. And we know that when uh, or when two roots are positive, their product is positive. And also, if uh, they both are negative, their product is also positive. So we can say that product of two roots must be positive. And uh, again, using sum and product rule, uh, sum is uh, negative b of a and product is c of a so c of a is just 15 minus k must be greater than zero strictly greater than zero but uh, provided that uh, these uh, uh, roots uh, exist at all so together with k is less than negative 10 or k is greater than 6. So simultaneous uh, uh, not equations, inequalities arise here and k 
is what less than just k to the right k is less than 15 or if you do uh, negative k is uh, greater than negative 15 but if you divide by negative if you divide or multiply by negative value uh, you should flip uh, an inequality sign so it becomes k is less than 15 together with k is less than uh, negative 10 or k is greater than 6 we need intersection it's and and at the same time So the first sol solution from 15 and to the left and from 6 and to the right and from negative 10 and to the left and you can see that intersection is so solution is for k greater than 6 and less than 15 or k is less than negative 10. Another method or actually it will be harder but but uh, as idea um, if we, we should consider this and and if we can oh actually we can consider uh, if we consider roots discriminant is uh, what uh, b squared oh, discriminant uh, discriminant it's actually this definitely it will be uh, harder but as idea as idea uh, this uh, graph the uh, graph of this function it's uh, it looks like uh, concave parabola and two roots to be positive it means what uh, and uh, there are two roots uh, smaller and uh, greater and if two roots are positive the smaller root this must be greater than zero so uh, you can consider such an inequality or when two roots are negative the greater the greater must be less than zero and uh, consider such an inequality and definitely together with uh, uh, this uh, uh, inequality so that they um, exist at all and uh, uh, expressions uh, for roots can be found uh, using discriminant minus b plus minus square root of d over 2a and that's all for this question